Psalm 98, a psalm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. In his right hand and in his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to his house, to the house of his trees. Let me repeat that one. Psalm 98 verse 2. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. Verse 3. He remembered his love and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with a harp and the sound of singing with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing ah, for joy, together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. Beloved, I come to highlight to you Psalm 98 verse 6 of this wonderful, wonderful time the Lord has allowed us into and mention it from verse 4. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with a harp. With a harp and the sound of singing. With trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. <laughs> Hallelujah. name of Jesus with trumpets and blast of the ram's horn shout for joy before the Lord the King what a great God we serve what a mighty God we serve beloved of God we honor him for he reigns forever in any situation that you may be going through today in any condition that you may be in that you may look at that condition it looks difficult and you don't know what to do do this trust him always trust him always for he made the heavens and the earth trust him always let the sea resound and everything in it trust him always if you forget anything i said today don't forget this trust him always trust him always trust in the lord always Psalm 3 verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall make your paths straight. Trust him. Put your confidence in him. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He remains God all by himself. Trust him. Put your confidence in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 94 verse 6. With trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn, shout for joy before the Lord the King. I mention this as you hear the sound of the trumpet. I want you to understand that there are moments in the, in the ways of God that he made this known to the nations of the earth. He made it known. The ram's horn, a good significant understanding of who God is in terms of provision. When Abraham went to sacrifice his son, he went with him up to the mountain. 
And when they went up to the mountain, they had firewood and they had servants. And probably his son was thinking, where is the sacrifice? But the Lord had spoken to Moses, uh, to Abraham and spoken to him and said, that Give your only son, your one and only begotten son, as a, sac as a sacrifice unto me. And Abraham did not think twice about it. He obeyed. When he went up the mountain and they finally got to the place where he was going to make the sacrifice, Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared. Hallelujah. That angel is still around in the name of Jesus to bring provision in moments where you don't know what's going to happen, what's going to, what, what is happening, what is, you know, that situation, how is it going to be sorted out? The Lord has an angel assigned to you. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 13. There was a word that was spoken there about the ram's horn the ram's horn representing also the judgments of god and the victory of god listen he surely shall be stoned or shot with arrows not a hand is to be laid on him whether man or animal he shall not be permitted to live only when the ram's horn sounds a long blast may they go up to the mountain it says in psalm 98 verse number psalm 98 and verse 6 it says with, with, the, with, the, with the blast of the ram's horn. In the book of 1 Samuel, 1 uh, Chronicles chapter 15, verse 28, says, So Israel brought the ark of the Lord with shouts, with sounding of ram's horns, and trumpets, and cymbals, and playing of lyres, and harps. This instrument is involved, even today in the New Testament church, with announcements of the presence of God, with announcements of praising God, with announcements. It's one of the greatest instruments that are still in scripture and in use today. It has no power on its own. But when you obey what the Lord is saying, <laughs> glory be to God, there is something that is about to happen right there. As I blast this trumpet, I trust God that he's going to bring victory in your situation, victory in your circumstance, victory in your condition. I trust him. I trust in the Lord. I trust him always. I put my confidence in the Lord that he will make it possible. He will make it right. He will make it right that even this day we will experience the supernatural, the grace, the power, the capacity, the dominion of our God. So as you hear the blast of this trumpet today, I want you not to harden your heart. I want you to give a shout to the Lord. I want you to mention to him that he reigns from the breaking of dawn. As you hear the sound of the trumpet, hallelujah, we go up to bring the presence of God everywhere we go, in your workplace, in your, seat, in your, in your hometown, whatever place you're going you carry the presence of god whether you have a ram's horn like me or not know that with the understanding of what god speaketh about us we know that we are going up to the mountain before the lord psalm uh, zechariah 7, 4 verse 7 it says what are you O mighty mountain before zerubbabel you will become level ground when then you will bring out the capstone to shouts of God bless it, God bless it. This morning, we come to mention shouts of God bless it, God bless it. We come to mention it is time, hallelujah. It is time, beloved of God. It is time. The heavens are declaring the glory of God. The heavens are declaring the glory of God. And so do we join in declaring the glory of God over this day with the blast of the ram's horn. We come to decree and declare that the favor of God is flowing. Ha <laughs> ha. The favor of God is flowing flowing we bless the name of the lord for he reigns he answers prayer he's coming in that situation no matter what the situation is is it a sickness he's coming hallelujah is it a condition he's coming his victory is resounding in the tents of the righteous of the lord from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets the name of the lord is to be praised hallelujah as you hear the blast of the ram's horn hallelujah may joy the joy of the Lord fill your heart this morning. May the joy of the Lord fill your spirit this morning. May the joy of the Lord be your portion this morning. May the favor of God come upon
upon you and overtake you in this night, in this season, wherever you are, whatever condition, whatever circumstance, I come to mention, I come to prophesy, I come to decree, according to the word of the Lord, hallelujah, as the ark of the covenant of the Lord was brought up into Israel with shouts, uh, with the sounding of ram's horn, we decree a joyful noise in the realm of the spirit, we decree a joyful, joyful, joyful noise, a joyful sound, not a sound of sirens, not a sound of, 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 uh, of loud music, obnoxious music from clubs and all these places, but we are making a joyful sound unto the Lord and releasing into the atmosphere victory, joy, dominion, power, mysteries of God in the name of Jesus Christ. As you hear the sound of the ram's on, hey, hey, may the power that flows from obeying the Lord at the breaking of dawn, hallelujah, as you can see the dawn breaking, as you can see the dawn breaking, I decree deliverance of any kind of circumstance that you may be facing in the name of Jesus Christ. As I blast the ram's horn, I decree and declare, may the armies of heaven begin to march ahead of you, hallelujah, as it did in the days of Jehoshaphat. And may the Lord God Almighty set you free from any kind of situation, condition, or circumstance that does not glorify the Lord. As you hear this blast of the ram's horn, hallelujah, may victory resound in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. As it says in the book of Psalm, again, Psalm, thank you, Holy Spirit. As it says in the book of Psalm, um, Psalm uh, 91, Psalm 90, Psalm 98, verse 6. Psalm 98, verse 6. We're going to read that one. But we want to mention that this God we serve is a great, great God. He's a great God. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. And some of the mysteries that God has given unto us are mysteries that are for us to understand that the owner of the sheep is the keeper of the vineyard as well. The owner of the sheep is the keeper of the vineyard. We know that and we have understanding. Psalm 81 verse 3. It says, Sound the ram's horn at the new moon, at the moon when the moon is full, on the day of our feast. This is a decree for Israel, an ordinance to the God of Jacob. Now, for us, we do not sound the, the trumpet. You know, there are some people who may not understand what about this instrument and say, Oh, this instrument belongs to Jews. It's an Old Testament thing, so forget about the Old Testament. This is not nothing to do with Old Testament. Ordinances are ordinances. And when the revelation has been released, and by the grace of God, God began to teach us what is it that we are doing with this kind of a sound. What is it that we are doing whenever we release the sound of the ram's horn? What is it we are doing? Is that the keeper of the sheep is also the owner of the vineyard. You need to understand this. That the Lord God Almighty commands us to trust him. In every circumstance, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. This morning, as I blast the ram's horn, we are proclaiming Psalm 98 verse number 6. We call today we are on Psalm 98. We bless the name of the Lord that it's the seventh season that the Lord has allowed us to come this far. And we are trusting him to help us. As we see the breaking of the dawn, as we sound the ram's horn, as we declare it, as we shout for joy before the Lord the King, let the sea, let the world, let the rivers, let the mountains, let the skyscrapers, let everything that is on the planet resound their praise unto the Lord. You can hear the birds singing. You can hear the, if you go into the valleys and to the hills, you can hear the cattle with their bells on their neck. They are walking, looking for pasture. And you can hear them mowing. And you can hear the, the donkeys baying and braying. You can hear every kind of creature. Every time that we are calling on the name of the Lord, there is a song that God is releasing to us. This morning, I come to prophesy. I come to prophesy that in this day, Hallelujah. We resound with sounds of singing that the faithfulness of God will be our portion, that he will not leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. I don't know what circumstance you're facing, but I also want to remind you of the message we shared yesterday about the joy of sacrifice. It's important for you to remember 
that when we give an offering unto the Lord, we don't do it just like in a club or in a in a in an investment group or something like that. We give because He first gave. The word of the Lord says in the book of, book of John chapter three verse sixteen: For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only begotten Son, that whosoever hmm, shall believe in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Beloved, the grace of achieving all this has been released to us by the Holy Spirit. And this morning, as you hear the blast of the ram's horn, as you hear the sound of the blast of the ram's horn, shout for joy before the Lord the King. Shout for joy before the Lord the King. We will trumpet, we will sound this trumpet at, at, as the Lord enables us. Today is the third day of October 2023 and it's coming up to the 6 a.m. hour. That we are sounding this sound in the realm of the Spirit and declaring the Lord reigns and declaring the Lord lives and declaring favor. Hallelujah. Listen to the birds singing in the background. This is the doing of the Lord and it's marvelous in our eyes. We want to also sound this trumpet over the nation of Kenya. We want to sound this trumpet over the nations in Upper Africa, in Northern Africa, in Western Africa, in Eastern Africa, in Southern Africa, the continent of Africa. And also we want to trust God for the people of Europe, the people of God in Asia, the people of God in America, the people of God in Australia, the people of God in India, and all that Asian continent in, in China and all these places, that may we trust him that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask, think, or imagine according to the power that reigns within us. We believe God. Hallelujah. We believe in the God that is speaketh in the book of Revelation chapter 4. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Father. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. We thank you, O Father. We give you all the glory. We come to mention, behold. We come to mention, behold. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 18. It says, I am the living one. I was dead. And behold, I am now alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. Again, he says, Behold, hallelujah, I come like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake and keeps his clothes with him, that he may not go naked and be shamefully exposed. Beloved, these clothes represent righteousness, represents walking with God very, very closely. Again, he says, Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book. Again, he says in this in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, Behold, I'm coming soon, and my reward is with me, and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. I will now sound shofar. I will sound the blast of the ram's horn. <laughs> name amen the lord bless you have a wonderful day see you in psalm 99